Hallelujah. Let's stand up to thank God because we are going to pray. Hallelujah. You are going to start by praying for yourself. You're going to pray that grasshopper spirit out of you. Hallelujah. I am not a grasshopper. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to begin to see yourself as a giant on earth. The giant of God Almighty. See yourself as God sees you. You know, the disciples were fearful after the resurrection. They were, they were, they were afraid. They were confused. They were, you know the story. And then the Lord came to them in Mark 16. It doesn't matter if you are fearful, just go out. Hallelujah. Go out and preach the gospel. It is time for us to begin to take over the earth with our prayers. If the earth has shut down the church, no problem. We can still take the earth. We can still take Namibia for Jesus. We can still cast out coronavirus. We can still save people in the hospital. Through our prayers, the spirit of God cannot be bound. Hallelujah. But we need to come out of this weariness. Hallelujah. You see, the God was showing me, he said his people are battle weary. You know the meaning of that? It means you have prayed and prayed, you are now tired. Come on. You know, you, he said, pray, occupy till I come. Hallelujah. There, there is no down, the, you cannot down the tool yet. You only down the tool when you make it to heaven. As long as you are here, you are the light of the world. As long as you are here, you are the salt of the earth. The earth needs you. you. Also, you need yourself. Hallelujah. You need to pray yourself out of that grasshopper spirit. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our hands and begin to thank God for the word that he has sent to us this morning. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Somebody say, I am not a grasshopper. And so I'm telling you, devil, don't see me as a grasshopper. Coronavirus, don't see me as a grasshopper. I'm not a grasshopper. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself. See yourself as God has seen you. Caleb said, uh-uh, we are able to go. We are able to go and take that mountain. We can take that place. You can beat the spirit of death and hell that is currently ravaging the earth. You can beat that spirit in your soul, in your spirit, in your body, before you beat it in your family, before you beat it in your nation. Beat it out of your soul. I want you to pray up the Holy Spirit that is in you. Pray for yourself. Don't pray for anybody yet. Pray for yourself. Pray that slumber out of you. Pray that fear out of you. Pray that weariness out of you. And ask the Lord to strengthen you. Open your mouth and bind the spirit of fear, the spirit of worry, the spirit of anxiety. Bind those spirits, their spirits. God did not give you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. You need to reject that spirit. You need to reject that grasshopper spirit, that sleeping spirit. Spirit, that laziness spirit, that, that fate accomplished spirit, and say, well, it's end time anyway, uh, and let the Lord do what he wants. Come on. Makadede koropo kosopo kosheke dede rapapaba makoseke tete rekosopo kosheka dede prakosopo kosente dede rekosopo kosheka dede makosopo koseka tete kate poba pakodede koropo kosento kode kaskade poba kode kesanta rapoba hapa one king was told the Lord is coming to deal with you he said is the Lord let him do as he wills but when Hezekiah was told you are about to die Hezekiah faced the wall he began to pray for how long are you going to lie down there waiting for death to take you waiting for the rapture or even death waiting for the floods 
waiting for the fire. The Lord has kept you here for a purpose. You need to stand up. You need to wake up. You need to. You need to. You need to. Uh, you need to imbibe the power that God has deposited in you for this end time. Don't be a waster. The Lord says. Pray that you will not that that you might escape the things that are happening. That's what he tells us in Luke 21, verse 36. It says, You must pray so that you will escape. You must pray so that you will escape. You must pray so that you can be ready for rapture. You are there giving excuses and buying whatever the devil is speaking on earth. Pray so you can escape. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to take a few prayer points from the book of Esther. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey man plotted to destroy God's people. And Mordecai and the rest of the Jews began to fast and pray. And then Mordecai thought, no, but we have somebody in the palace. My niece is there. And sent to her, you know the story. And then she started to give excuses. And Mordecai said, don't you ever think that you will escape. Hallelujah. Just because you are a queen, you are a Jew. If you do not stand up at this time and defend us, you also will not escape. Right. Some of you are just lying down there, you think you are going to escape. The judgment is rife on earth now. Right. So if you just lie down there and say, ah, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, all you do is eat and drink. Hey! Get up, hallelujah. And when she was told, don't you ever dare think that you are going to escape. Then she said, I'm going to fast and uh, uh, I will not eat or drink for three days and let everybody else fast along with me. Hallelujah. He said, she said, if I perish, I perish. It is time to get up. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray again for yourself. Say, oh Lord, I need to arise and shine. I need to get up. I need to be strengthened. I need to be less, 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 less selfish or, 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 or less ignorant of the times. I need to know that it's my time now to pick up bows and arrows. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In chapter 3 of Esther, verse 8, And Haman said unto the king Asuerus, There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the prophecies of thy kingdom. And their laws are diverse from all people, neither keep they the king's laws. Therefore, it is not for the king's prophet to suffer them. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. And I will pay 10,000 talents of silver for the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasuries. <laughs> said, I'm going to bring money to the king so I can destroy the Jews. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman. It's all about money these days. And the king said unto Haman, the silver is given to thee. The people also, nobody is going to kill me for silver and gold. You will not be destroyed. We all know what is happening. He said, the, the king said unto Haman, the silver is given to thee. The people also to do with them as it seemed good to thee. Are we animals? Are we goats? Are we souls to be sold? No. 
Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants, to the governors that were over every province, and to the rulers of every people of every province, according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language in the name of King Ahasuerus, was it written and sealed with the king's ring. And the letters were sent by post into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women in one day, even upon the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month Ada. A lot of things are being planned on this planet Earth now by people that matter. Hallelujah. Verse 15, and the post went out, being hastened by the king's commandment, and the decree was given in Shushan, the palace. You see a lot. They say, you can see whatever you hear in Namibia is what you are going to hear in America. Hallelujah. Whatever you hear in America, you hear it in Europe. We break that conspiracy in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every conspiracy. Enough is enough. My father, wake up your children because you say we should pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it's in heaven. Why are we being perplexed? Why are we being confused? Why is it that it's the same information all over the place? My father, you are the only one that rules the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. When Mordecai perceived, chapter 4, all that was done, Mordecai rent his clothes, put on sackcloth. This man was in government. This man was sitting at the gate of the king. This man was supposed to say, well, maybe they will spare me. No, he rent his clothes. He put on sackcloth with ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and a bitter cry. And came even before the king's gate, for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. He didn't put on his official clothes. He made a declaration with his appearance that I belong to another kingdom. Hallelujah. And in every province, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was great mourning among the Jews and fasting and weeping and wailing and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. Many of God's children are praying now, crying, mourning, weeping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But somebody needs to be an Esther. So Esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her. Then was the queen exceeding grieved. And she sent Raymond to clothe Mordecai to take away his sackcloth from him, but he received it not. Mordecai refused to be dressed up. Mordecai refused to say that everything is fine. We are pretending that everything is fine, but you know in your spirit mind that everything is not fine. We are pretending to flow with the crowd, but you know you shouldn't. Hallelujah. He refused to wear that dress, that clothes, that change of clothes. He refused to dress properly at this time. He refused. Hallelujah. And then we know what the interaction between him and, and, and his niece. And he told the niece, you know what? For a time like this, you are in the kingdom. This is not a time for you to pretend that everything is fine. To flow with the cloud, to, with, 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 the, with the crowd. Hallelujah. It is time for you to distinguish yourself as an Esther. Makadede Kuropo Kosento. Clap your hands and begin to pray. That things are not okay. 
No more excuses. Esther was trying to give her skills. And you know what? I cannot do that. I am too tired. My job, my children, I am too important in government. Who told you so? It is time for you. If you are in the government, if you are in the school system, if you are in the church, if you are in the, if in the public service, if you are at the supermarket, become an Esther, become a Modeka. I'm begin to fast and pray, begin to do what you should do. In Jesus' name we pray. Esther dedicated herself. The reason why you are flowing with the crowd, with what is going on on earth, is lack of consecration. You cannot set yourself aside. You want to look like everybody else. Be like, you are not everybody else. Mordecai set himself aside. Esther set herself aside. And they got a breakthrough that is not natural. Hallelujah. You are going to pay the price of holiness, of consecration. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, make me an Esther. Make me a Mordecai. Sanctify me by your truth. Your word is true. Set me aside. I don't belong in all that is going on here. I have to, I have to take the kingdom for you. I have to preserve souls for you. I have to pray for people to be saved for you. I have to deliver souls for, your, for you. But I have to be close to you. I have to be sanctified by you. Open your mouth and say, oh Lord, sanctify me. Three soul and body set me aside. Help me. That's why I say start by praying for yourself. Mordecai and Esther, they were able to set that to set that nation free. Just the two of them, because they were sanctified. They were spirit filled. Their life was not too important to them. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Mordecai went to the king's gate in sackcloth, which was forbidden. We overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb, by not loving our lives unto death, by not being worldly, not being carnal, not just loving this life, not just flowing along with the crowd. They set themselves apart. They are different. God is calling you to set yourself apart. God is calling you to sacrifice something. To sacrifice that your pride. To sacrifice something so that you and God can be in communication. So that you can save somebody. So you can save yourself, save your family, save somebody. Clap your hands and pray. The Lord sanctify me. Sanctify me. Sanctify me. Make me a, an Esther. Make me a Mordecai at the same time. Jesus says, be careful so that you will not be carried away with the cares of life. Pray you so that you will not be eating and drinking and sleeping. It is time to be sanctified. In Jesus' name we pray. Esther sanctified herself. Set herself apart. Hallelujah. Jesus says if you love your life, you will lose it. But if you lose your life for the sake of the kingdom, you will save it. And then on the third day, she appeared where she was not supposed to appear. And she got favor. If we, as children of God, will set ourselves apart for God, God the Father will grant us favor. God the Father will grant us favor. And for our sake, he will spare so many people. Esther, Esther waited on the Lord, God the Father. He waited on him and then appeared before the king. <laughs> they, were supposed, they were supposed to cut off her head. But the king said, Esther, 
Can I help you? What do you want me to give you? Ask anything you want. I will give it to you to the half of my kingdom. That is the power of sanctification. When you sanctify yourself, as you are going to pray that prayer, that God, what I'm going to do so that whenever I appear in your courtroom, you will answer me. Show it to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Maybe your own is not even to fast for three days and three nights. Whatever it is I have to do so I can have authority. I can have integrity of, in my prayer. So when I appear in the courtroom of God the Father, he can grant me my request. Without holiness, nobody shall see God. Make a sacred Father, what is it that you want me to do? How can I set myself apart to have favor like Esther had favor? In Jesus' name we pray. She didn't tell the king what she wanted. Immediately she had wisdom. As you pray in tongues, the Holy Ghost will give you wisdom. And she just said, I just want to invite you and Haman to a banquet of wine. Hallelujah. And Haman went home and boasted that, yes, he has just been promoted and the queen is even inviting him. But that night... Based on the prayers and fasting of Mordecai and Esther, the king had a dream. The king had, he couldn't sleep, rather. And he was reminded of what Mordecai had done. Hallelujah. And so when, uh, when Esther came back the following day, amen, even before then, Haman was about to now go and ask the king, ah, I need to hang Mordecai. He wanted to go and take permission to hang Mordecai because Mordecai still did not bow to him in spite of him, of his promotion. But before then, before he got there, the king had the, he, he, he was reminded of what Mordecai did to save his life. And the king, as soon as he walked in, the king said, I want to honor a man. And because he was a proud man, he thought it was him. What can I do to honor a man? Verse 6 of chapter 6. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom would the king delight to do honor more than to myself? And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought, with which the king used to wear, and the horse that the... the that the king rideth upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man without whom the king delighted to honor, and bring him on horseback through the streets of the city, and proclaim before him. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Then the king said to him, Make haste, take the apparel and the horse, and thou, as thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai, the Jew, that seated at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. That was the beginning of the end of Hema. When is, the, when is power going to change hand? When, hallelujah, when is the church of God going to take ownership? Hallelujah. It can only come by self-sacrifice, by consecration. Now, you can pray from Genesis to Revelation. If you are holy, you are wasting your time. If you have not got to that point where you can break through with heaven, you are wasting your time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of course, you know the rest of the story. He took Haman and then, of course, I mean, uh, Mordecai, and he paraded him. Hallelujah. And his wife said something. Verse 12. Mordecai came again to the king's gate, 
But Haman hasted to his house mourning, and having his head covered. And Haman said, Zeresh, and, and Haman told Zeresh his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him. Then said his wife, his wise men, and Zeresh his wife unto him, If Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him. Clap for the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> but shall surely fall before him. My father, my God, I want you to pray that in tongues. Hallelujah. That the church, the church must not fall. Jesus says the church is marching on. It says that the, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I want you to open your mouth that if I be a seed of the Jews, if I be a seed of Abraham, if I be a child of Abraham by faith, if if I be a Christian, nothing in this world should prevail against me. Makadede koropoko sika dede, masopoko sika dede karapaba, maskode poko sento, maseka dede, repoko shoka de papa, pako dede kesente, reko sopoko sheka de papa, makadeka seka de papa, reke sento, makosoka de de kasanto. In Jesus' name we pray. And we know what happened to the nation. Haman was hanged. His, his ten sons were hanged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His position was given to Mordecai. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, uh, and chapter 8 verse 6, 16 says, The Jews had light and gladness and joy and honor. We want light. We want gladness. We want joy. We want honor. But we don't want to pay the price. Hallelujah. We must pay the price. The Jews had light and gladness and joy and honor. And in every province and in every city, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Jews had joy and gladness, a feast and a good day. And many of the people became Jews. Hallelujah. 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 When you, when you enter your office and corona has, uh, has affected everybody, including you, and you are speaking the same language of the people, how will they be saved? How will they know that your God is superior? I want us to pray. Say, Father, because we don't have too much time. Say, Father, the results that you gave to Mordecai and Esther and the Jews in the book of Esther. We need that result now in the body of Christ. Lord, what they did to be able to get that result, what Daniel did to be able to get the same result that he got, help us to do it in the name of Jesus. My father Take away the love of the world. Take away ungodliness from us. Take away fear from us. Take away lack of faith. Take away prayerlessness. Reko so poco sheka de baba, Marco so codede, Reko so poco seca de baba, Maseca de de coropaba, Marco seca de de repoco shokra baba, Praco de de caseca de de cadepa de bogosonto, a bafada caseca de de coropogosento, Marco so poco sinte de de rapa baba. We are just there complaining, we are just there complying, we are complaining, complying, we are complaining, complying, my father cadeca de bogodeca seca de baba. It is time for you to consecrate us, to change us. Makotere, pakode de kasente re baba, rapa bakode kesento, maseka de de, rapa bakode kasente re baba, masoko de kesente, re kaseka de baba. 
Maso poco sente de de. Oh, fada papa baco de casque de papa baco de casente de de. Reco so poco sento. The people became Jews. The Jews had peace. They had joy. They had gladness. They had rest. Makate de kuro poco sento. Mako se kade de kade papa. Pra papa papa. Mako there was no limits to the results. They were being promoted. They took over. Oh, Kade Baba, Mako de de Kesente de de Rapa Baba Baba Baba, Mako de Kase Kade Baba, pray, pray, pray. The church must not go underground. Makade Bako de Keseke de Baba Kodika Sento, enough of singing, enough of saying. We need to pray in tongues. We need to pray in tongues. We need to pray in tongues. To boost our own immune system, to heal us, to deliver us, and deliver the earth. When we are announcing the funeral of pastors, who is going to save the church? Who is going to save the earth? When we are always is talking about memorial service for the children of God. Because we don't want to consecrate, we don't want to dedicate, we don't want to be, we don't want to be spiritual. We don't want to pray in tongues. We don't want to do night vigils. We don't want to fast and pray. My Father, deliver us. Father, increase our faith. Esther believed God. He said, if I perish, I perish. She did not perish. Daniel believed God. Went into the lion's den. And came out. My father, my father, my father. Deliver us from unbelief. Deliver us from prayerlessness. Deliver us from loving our lives unto death. So we can get the same results of God that Esther, America, and the Jews got. So we can have joy. So we can have a mouth to speak. So that the earth can change. So many people can become born again. Oh God. All things work together for good for those who love you, Father. Pray, pray, pray. When you overcome, you will be able to help others to overcome. When you overcome the flesh, when you overcome carnality, when you overcome prayerlessness, you'll be able to help others to overcome. In Jesus' name we pray. When you try to persuade Christians now, to, 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 to be dedicated to the Lord, to, to keep their eyes on the Lord. They now tell you you are proud. They now, they now try to dissuade you. The Lord rebukes Satan. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Father, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord was saying, in the book of Revelation, let's look at Revelation quickly. Chapter 2, hallelujah. He was saying, go back to your first love. Hallelujah. Revelation 2. Praise the Lord. Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks? I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, 
and has found them liars, and has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored, has not fainted. Nevertheless, has somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou hast fallen, and repent. Hallelujah. That is another topic entirely. Hallelujah, but one of these days I will teach you on those touches again. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. Help us to return to you in the name of Jesus. Each and every one of us. Father, I'm coming against the stronghold of lukewarmness. The stronghold of carnality, worldliness. Let it be broken to pieces in our lives, in the body of Christ, in this church, in these ministries, in the name of Jesus. That we might be able to save our nations. Like Esther and Mordecai dedicated themselves and got those powerful results. We give you all the praise, Father. I want you to lift up your hands and begin to thank God. Because he's going to react to these prayers. He's going to help us. We give him all the praise and all the glory. Thank you, Father. We thank you, omnipotent God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. As we come to the communion table, I want us to remember that Jesus says, healing is the bread of the children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Healing is the bread of the children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.